So, we are about to dive into procedural texture mapping. But before we do, I just wanted to bring the new users up to speed and make sure that we're all on the same page. Now, if you want, you can spend your time memorizing all the different maps, what they do, when to use them, and how to make them, but that would be taken the long way. And if you're a new user, that can feel really overwhelming. But don't worry, if you just understand how Blender works, you don't have to memorize anything. So, here's the secret. Blender doesn't actually give a shit about what you're trying to plug into it. A map is just a picture. That's it. There's no special file type. There's no magic words. It's just an image file. And to prove it, I got two words for you. Black and white. Black equals zero and white equals one. Anytime you see a gray dot with a slider that goes from zero to one, you can plug in any black and white picture. A lot of new users plug in the first map and the slider disappears and they just assume that magic happens and somehow the map does its job. But here's what's actually happening. Let's use metal as an example. When there's no map involved and we move metal up all the way to one, it assumes the entire object is gonna look like metal. But if we move it to zero, Blender then assumes the entire object will not be metal at all. Now, let's drag in a random black and white picture that's not designed to be a map at all. See that? For all the areas in the picture that were white, it's treating those pixels as if they had the slider dragged to one. And for all the pixels that are black, it's treating the slider as if it was dragged to zero. And you can do this for literally any zero to one slider you ever see in Blender. If you drag this same map into roughness, all the white areas are gonna be treated as if roughness was set to one. And all the black areas are gonna be treated as if roughness was set to zero. And if there's a gray area, that's gonna get a value somewhere in between zero and one, depending on how dark it is. The only time things work any different is when you see this yellow dot for colored maps. Instead of treating each pixel as if they were on a zero to one scale, it looks at each pixel and asks, what color is it? Oh, it's red? That means those pixels are gonna be this color. And these pixels are gonna be that color. And so on and so forth. So if you get a picture of a Victoria's Secret model and plug it into a mission, it's gonna create a glowing neon poster that emits different color light in the shape of a beautiful woman. And that's it. That is all Blender does when you plug in an image. You can drag any black and white picture into a gray node and you can drag any colored picture into a yellow node. Blender does not care. Anyway, that is how it works. Hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you.